Hi Libra, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for April 2017. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Aquarian Tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings, and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Libra Sun, Libra Ascendant, and Libra Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information, because some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. If you would like to get a continuation of this reading where I look into my crystal for you, Libra, to get additional messages, from my spirit guides, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the description box in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for April 2017 crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. You can also get my other videos that I recorded uh, for the year of 2017 that are special videos where I was looking into new beginnings and endings, psychic tarot and crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac where I was using two, three, two different tarot decks, three cards from each deck, one deck for new beginnings, one deck for uh, the endings and concluding the reading looking into my crystal. Those videos are 20 minutes long or more and that link is also below this video in the description box in the show more section and if you click on those that link it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. Also you can get these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page 9 it's a drop down menu you click on page 9 and there you will see the headings for these videos that I've mentioned here you just click on your sign and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo all that being said Libra now on to your readings for April 2017 first card you have here is three of cups this can indicate three women three friends three females three sisters it could be parties gatherings, celebrations you could be attending the party you could be throwing the party it can also be a celebratory conclusion to something that's been going on in your life I do feel that you're going to have a lot of things going on in April and I feel like you're going to be busy 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 you may be talking to family members or females that live at a distance to you. They may be at a, they're saying they're afar. So they may live in another state, another province, another country from you. Uh, but I feel like you're going to be speaking with them. I feel that either you're going to be sharing wondrous stories with them or they have wondrous stories to share with you. You may feel like you want to say something to them. Uh, maybe something that some detail or story or message that you forgot to tell them a long time ago or just something that's pertinent and happening in your life that you feel is necessary for you to let them know or communicate with them. You may be changing some things because I get you like they're saying taking a bite, a big bite out of the apple. I'm not sure why they're saying that, but then they say looking things over and changing things. You may be restructuring like a will. You could be rewriting your will or, um, you know, changing whoever you have set up as power of attorney or uh, the executor of your will. You could also be looking at other kinds of documents and or also could be bank accounts and uh, documents, paperwork, bank accounts, different kinds of savings, stocks, anything like that. I feel like you're looking over all these different papers and analyzing them and reworking them. It could also be if you're filing your income tax in April, as most of us are, you could be reworking your income tax or reworking, reworking figures. Uh, because I see numbers for some of you. A lot of it, I feel I'm looking at documents, statements, uh, things like that. Again, it could also be wills, contracts, and uh, things of that nature. I see many Libras reworking them, analyzing them, looking at them. Uh, it all comes up here through the Three of Cups. 
I do see that some of you are going to some kind of party gathering or celebration for someone if it's not your family if it's not somebody in your family it could be a friend of yours that has a that's getting married or their daughter is getting married or their son is is getting engaged or there's some kind of celebration so there's some celebration some of you Libras are going to be attending in April that have family connections and ties to it but maybe not all of you it may not be your family exactly it could be a friend's family and you're invited and attending I do feel that some of you may need to look into some things that may be being covered up or kept secret from you this could be documents accounts if you have any spouses that are hiding like hiding money from you in a secret account or in a like uh or have secret paperwork or secret documents um or it could be doesn't have to be a spouse it could be anyone somebody you work with a boss or a sibling you got to look into see if you can find out because i feel like some of you may there may be something secret or hidden that you need to discover and look into but that's not going to apply to all of you Libras. Now here you have two of cups. This is a union between two people that usually to me means love. This is like fate, divine blessings, destined, meant to be, strong soul connection here. Usually it's love, but it can also be like a soul connection with somebody you're very close to, like a son, a daughter, a grandchild, or a, a friend. But usually to me this is love some of you Libras that are in a love relationship are going to have the feeling like you can't get enough of the other person like you're thinking about them all the time you want to spend your time with them you want to go out with them you want to see them as soon as you're done work or as soon as they're done work you want to get together you want to go out uh, I see that strongly for some of you and for some of you I see you want to go to the beach because I'm seeing the ocean and uh, like a beach scene in front of me so those of you that are Libras that live near water this could apply like you're going to be spending time you know going on the beach with that with this person I do feel like you're finding out a lot of information from them in April maybe they're going to tell you things they never said to you before or you you know uh, like of love like words of love but it could be other kinds of information uh, and messages coming from them that you never heard from them before some of you could be in a relationship with someone that you may be having issues with them where you feel like they have bipolar behavior or bipolar tendencies I'm not saying they're clinically diagnosed as being bipolar but some of them may be and you may feel like you're having difficulty dealing with them or they've caused too much difficulty and you may feel like you have to let them go but that's the you know the percentage of that is small compared to the rest of you Libras so as I always say Libra you if these messages so far are not making sense to you here please watch your rising sign or your moon sign because your messages may be coming to you there this month of April and not at your sun sign not here in your sun sign of Libra some of you may actually be working through issues or problems with a former love so maybe somebody's going to return or you two get reunited somebody you had broken up with or hadn't been with for many years and you come back together and you try to rework or solve the issues that were there before that split you up that's again a small portion for some of you Libras that's not going to apply to all of you because some of you are happily married or happily coupled or completely single and this person isn't coming back in but there is it is coming up here also through this two of cups for Libras some of you may feel like you don't want everything to be so commonplace anymore in your life and you may feel bored or like you feel like you want to jump out of your skin and do something different so again you had a lot of things that came up for, through that card how it's going to apply to all of you Libras I do not know you will let me know I'm sure so the seven of Pentacles is your next card in the reading which is being tired and exhausted of your hard work and efforts and gaining financial gain and rewards from your hard work and efforts this can also mean focusing on your work also 
I feel like some of you are going to feel like you have money popping up in the oddest of places like bank accounts you didn't think you you forgot you had stocks maybe that you were given by somebody that you found the certificate and you didn't remember you had it um, people sending you money in a ch in a uh, envelope in a card like saying oh you know we want to we sold this and we want to give you some money from what we sold like so you could be like I don't know I just get <laughs> some Libras are going to be getting some money from the most oddest or unexpected of places in April you may also be working things out with a former colleague or a co-worker so if you had any dissension or problems with a former colleague or co-worker you may start to say let's let's stop the bickering or the fussing and fuming and let's rework what our issues are or if there is a problem with something the two of you are working on you may like start over again and resolve whatever the thing is that's not jiving or not working out because that also comes up here with the seven of pentacles I do feel that some of you Libras are going to come up with some kind of brilliant idea that I see you putting to good use in April so you may come up with some ingenious plan a business plan or some like really great idea that it could be for a story or you know something you want to do in particular or something you want to create um, or something you can sell I see it's like oh my gosh it's like a totally ingenious and brilliant idea so I see your ingenuity very high in April I feel like you're also going to have additional spending money or additional cash that you will be able to spend in April so if you wanted to take a trip or you wanted to buy a new wardrobe or you wanted to get some plastic surgery or a facelift or a boob job or a uh, you know brow lift or and you know anything tummy tuck or you know buy new clothes or do anything special take a trip or do something I feel like you're going to have the means to do it because I see you having extra money that they're saying pretty much seems like it's going to be spending money for you somebody may back you into a corner and try to get you to do something that you don't really want to do and this could be sell something that you own or a job or a task that you feel like oh my god my son or daughter wants me to help them move I really don't want to do it or my son or daughter wants me to like babysit their child and I really don't want to do that like somebody I don't I'm not saying those are the only possibilities that's just a few that came into my head you may have somebody that wants to, to back you into a corner in April to do something you don't really want to do so just be on guard for that the next card you have here in the layout is the king of pentacles and this would either be a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo that could be their sun sign their rising sign or their moon sign or they could just have the personality traits this month of April uh, that the king of pentacles possesses you may be uh, a lot of things could be happening between you and this king of pentacles and you may actually be accumulating some wealth with them or through them in April I feel this King of Pentacles sports like he likes cars he likes to sport around in a sporty car and I hear he talks a big game so he's very um, he's very chatty in April and I feel like he's driving around in a sports car with the top down like a convertible I see that he's got two sides of him on one side I can I see he can be very generous giving and loving and on the other side I can see he can be really frugal and stingy <laughs> and penny pinching so I get both sides with I get both sides to this king of Pentacles for you if he's somebody that you work with you may be giving him the brush off because he may be trying to get you to do his dirty work and that could also be not work that could even be a spouse or somebody you're connected to that you know, could be a brother or a father um, I just get like he he tries to get you rope you in on some of his schemes or to get you to do some dirty some of his dirty work and you may be like 
blowing him off or giving him the brush off and saying, no, I'm not doing that. Or you're, you know, I don't know. This could be the person that's backing you into the corner trying to get you to do things you don't want to do. That did come up earlier, so it could be him that's doing it. He's got a lot of problems with indigestion. He has stomach problems. He may even have pancreas cancer or stomach issues like of any kind. He's got some kind of digestive problems. It could be just very mundane, normal. Not everybody has pancreatic cancer. That did come up in my head, but that's, you know, pro it's certainly not going to be all the people, all the King of Pentacles in this situation for you, Libra. So um, just keep that in mind. He may be instituting something new that generates money. And this could be a new business, a new hobby, a new line of work, or a hobby that he's turning into a new business, uh, or something that he's starting, because they're saying he's instituting something that's going to start a lot of money, generate a lot of money. So it could be of other things. It doesn't have to be a sideline. Uh, it doesn't have to be a business. It could be a sideline hobby that he starts doing whatever this is and then selling it and then he's generating money. But that also comes up here for you, Libras. How he's connected to you, it's all over the ballpark. So you, you'll just have to figure out who he is to each of you. You have the Two of Rods here as the last card in the reading. And this is the card that would symbolize to me partnership in business, partnership in romance, or it could also be... Uh, how you're presenting yourself or something you're putting out into the world. How you're stepping out and, and what you're showing to the world. If you feel like you want to change jobs or make some kind of move, you may feel pr pressured or stuck like people want you to stay where you are. So I get that feeling. Or maybe it's in a living situation. Like you feel like you want to move, but your partner or significant other or people that live with you don't want to do that and they want you to stay right where you are because I do hear that for some of you. I see you coming to some decisions this month where you feel like you have to be really proactive and that you have to start making some choices that are really good for you. So I see that on your mind. Like I've got to be proactive. I've got to make good choices. I've got to make the choices that are good for me. Some of you are going to have a relationship that finally comes to bloom and blossoms. But that's not going to be the case for all of you, but it is coming up for some of you. You may be actually formalizing with an engagement or a marriage, some of you Libras. That could be happening here. You may feel like there's a lot of things changing in your life, and it may seem and feel like it's happening so fast that you almost like you can't keep up with all of the changes. You may have had trouble with ha and had a hard time keeping something under control. Like if you had bad spending habits or eating too much sugar or um, spending too much money or, you know, drinking too much or smoking cigarettes or whatever. Whatever would be like a bad habit or something that had gotten out of control you may have felt like you need to get a handle on it. Like it comes up in April, like you're witness, you're thinking like, oh man, that really got out of control. I got to put a lid on it or put a stop to it. But I feel like it's something that you're doing, a behavior or some habit or something connected to you. I also feel some of you may feel very overwrought in April. Like there could be some situation happening in your life either with family members or loved ones or love love like love partner where people are unhappy and may feel like you may feel like there's too much negativity or too much unrest happening from them that they're voicing or influencing other people in the family or the situation and I see you feeling like I can't stand it I I want peace I, I don't want people to be fighting and I don't want all this you know acrimony in my life and it's too much and I want them I want it to stop because I see some of you irritated by things that are happening from someone else like they're like you feel like 
they're creating, they're kicking up too much fuss and too much of a dust or too much drama or trauma is being kicked up by them. So I see some of you thinking about this uh, also. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I certainly hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate it. And please remember to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube. Also, uh, Libra, if you would like to get a continuation of this reading where I look into my crystal for you and get additional messages and expand on this reading uh, from my spirit guides, for April 2017, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the Show More section, and it will take you to my Vimeo Videos On Demand page for April 2017 crystal readings for each sign of the Zodiac. Also, I have special videos I recorded last month that are actually for the year of 2017, titled New Beginnings and Endings for each sign of the Zodiac. Uh, in 2017 psychic tarot and crystal readings where I'm looking into two different tarot decks one for the beginnings one for the endings and concluding the reading with my crystal for the year of 2017 and these videos are long they're 20 minutes or a little more than 20 minutes long these videos are also available for download and purchase and you can access them by clicking on the link the other link below in the description box in the show more section beneath this video you can also access all of these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page 9 and there you will see the headings for the crystal readings and the new beginnings and endings readings. You just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. I wish you an amazing month of April, Libra. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.